Yeah, if you could. Obviously, uh, a tough loss. I thought, um, you know, we played well enough to win. I thought the kids really um, defended well. You know, they got back in the game, uh, making some threes, which we had really, you know, knew was going to be a problem. I mean, they, they're a good three-point shooting team. So uh, every time we, we got a lead, they hit a three. So that that, that really cut cut into our lead, and then it was anybody's game. It came down. It came down to one play. So. Kid from Canisius made a great play. I thought Rock was on him. The kid made an off-balance layup. I mean, what, what are you going to do? It's a shame. Uh, we fought, we battled, and uh, you know you got to give Canisius credit. They made the, the plays when they had to. Questions for Ryan or Odie? Ryan, just on that last play, did you get the move in the shot you wanted there? Or? Um, yeah, I mean, got the ball where I wanted to. Um, you know, I made that move all game, and uh, you know he read it, and you know he made a great play. Is that, he had blocked a couple of shots earlier. Is that a tough guy to get a shot over Vasquez Sims? He seems like a whole day. Yeah, you know, he's a very good shot blocker, very good athlete. So, um, you know, you got to give credit to him for you know, winning, winning the game. Ryan, what did you see on the shot that Bellardo made on the uh, that put them up 62 61? Um, you know, like Coach said, I thought Rock defended him well. You know, I, I was right behind Rock, too. And I thought, um, you know, I mean, he, he made a great shot. He made a bank shot in traffic to win the game. And, um, I mean, that's just a tough shot, but you know, what are you going to do? We're, um, on the final play, were you at all thinking about kicking it to anybody, or were you going to shoot no matter what? Um, I mean, I, there was only four seconds left, and when I caught it, I kind of got pushed out, so I figured that took a second off, and I'd rather get a shot up than you know, pass to someone who had the clock right now, and I thought I got a good look at it, but you know, he just read it. What would you do when they've, I mean, you've beaten them 10 straight times coming in, they have a pretty experienced team. Is it a case where they, where they do for a win against you guys, do you think, eventually? Or are they going to break through against you guys eventually? Um, I don't think that way. Um, I think we were well prepared for this team. Um, there's nothing that, that they did that we didn't go over. Um, like Coach said, um, we felt like we played a pretty good game overall. Um, came down to the last play, kid made a great shot. Uh, Ryan got a good look at it. So at the end of the day, you just got to get credit to Canisius and his staff. Ryan, does this take a little bit of momentum away from that the good Iona win at all, or do you guys just um, don't look at it in the next contact? I mean, you know, a loss hurts, obviously. But uh, I think all year we've done a great job of not getting down on ourselves. And, you know, we're, you know I'm definitely going to think about the game tonight. I'm sure everyone else will. But tomorrow, come 11.30, when it's time for Niagara, you know, this game's out of our mind, and, you know, you go up there and you get a win at Niagara, you don't want to drop two in a row up here. 20 offensive rebounds tonight for your team. OD. Was this a team for coming in you felt you could exploit a little bit on the offensive boards? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> uh, preparing for this team, we realized that they led you know, the Mac in total rebounds, but, you know, we didn't think that was a factor. We wanted to make it a point uh, to get on the glass and uh, get some second chance stand shots for us. Um, I think he did that tonight, and it really did up our offense. Meanwhile, for both you guys, it, it must have must drive you crazy. You guys had like a couple multiple putback chances on that one play really late. Can you just kind of describe what was happening um, there? Yeah, like, like you said, we had a bunch of chances, but uh, at the end of the day, me and me, me, me and Oli, we have to finish that, that play. I think we each got two or three looks at it, and uh, you know, it's one of us just has to get the ball in the hoop. It's our job. Real quick, on the, can you describe the last play again? Uh, you know, with the set play, obviously, to get it to you down underneath. Um, you know, we wanted to give me the ball in a position to score. Uh, you know, I thought we did a good job of that. I uh, caught it, you know, maybe 15 feet away from the hoop when I faced up. I know it was only probably three seconds left, so I want to try to get it to the rim. And, uh, you know, Simmons, Simmons made a great block, so give him the credit. After you gave the team the lead, Ryan, were you thinking that they would not call a timeout and just watch the ball before yeah. you were anticipating that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think Coach Parada really, really trusts his players. And, you know, I think he's more of a coach to just let them go and have something good like that happen, especially when, uh, you know, they had a lot of momentum in the last few minutes, so I don't think they want to go against a, a set defense. And uh, Bellardo made a, made a great play. Any more questions for the student athletes? Okay, guys, you're shower. Questions for Mitch? It looked like after Bellardo scored, Mitch, did you want a timeout? Was the timeout called a little bit too slowly? Yeah, like you kind of was. You were I, yeah, for it. I was calling for it. And, uh, but you know what I wanted to do? I, I wanted to get the ball, you know, make sure we got it to where we could run a play from, from our bench. You know, and the Rock pushed it up, and then you know we got we got the time. I don't know, four point eight seconds. Did, did you get the play you wanted? I mean, yeah, that's your man. We ran a we ran a, a down screen. We, we thought we could get it to Rossiter. You know, that's, that's what we 
we tried to do. Can just comment on what it's like to play against Vasquez Simmons. He, you know, he's such a tough shot blocker in there. Well, Mike, I, he is. You know, and I, they had eight blocks. Um, you know, we, you know, we, we usually, you know, are inside can can score on anybody. You know, it's been on mantra all year, and they, they were making it. Uh, you know, maybe that's why we missed a couple of shots. You know, we were, they, they were, they were really uh, locking shots, and uh, you know, I think, I think the. Um, you know, it, 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 it really was a game that just came down to one play. I mean, it was, it was that close. He didn't do it. The kid made a great play. Did you guys have a few too many missed easy opportunities? Mentioned too many missed I think we missed some shots we normally make, Mark. I mean, I know we had we had a couple open looks that we missed. Uh, we, you know, but, you know, we, we, we gave them too many threes. You know, we gave, I mean, 12 for 28 from three. I mean, and every time we got a lead, they hit a three. You know, if we could have stopped them one of those times, now we get a six-point lead instead of a three-point lead. So that, that three-point shooting was really good. I know you love your zone. Were you ever thinking, did you think about coming out of it at all? Well, I came out of it a little late. You know, I came out of it late, and we tried to, you know, play man-to-man. -man. We, we took the threes away, but then we gave up, you know, a couple of drives. That was pretty good D by Owen out of the man on that last three that Himes tried, I think. He kind of threw up a crazy one at the end of the shot clock. Yeah, yeah it was. That was straight man, right, at that point. Any more questions for Coach? Okay.